welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, you should totally subscribe and join the family because I post every other Sunday. So make sure you turn your post notifications on. Before I get too into this video, I want to address two things. Number one, yes, I know I sound like I am literally on the verge of extinction, but I am not sick. I do not have corona. Okay, calm down. I have really bad pollen allergies and it is spring and I live in Georgia, so the pollen is vicious. So that's why I sound like this. I'm totally okay. I just have super bad pollen allergies and I'm a little congested. So, you guys sound weird. Um, sorry, I can't do anything about it. Number two, yes, you heard right. I am now posting every other Sunday instead of every single Sunday because I felt that my content was just kind of going downhill and I want to put out stuff that I'm proud of more than just like focusing on putting something out every week. So, that's why I'm posting every other Sunday now. Okay, my camera just fell, so sorry if the position is kind of changed. But to get back on track, in today's video, I'm going to be telling y'all 10 ways that you can make money as a teenager when either you don't have time for a real job or you're too young for a real job like me. I'm going to be telling y'all some ways that I have on my phone to make money. It's getting into the summer months. You want to be hanging out with your friends. You need money to do a lot of things. So I'm going to be helping y'all make that money for the summer. So if you're interested in finding some ways to make money, keep watching and let's just get on with the video. Okay, so ignore the fact that I had had to reposition my camera for the third time in this video. My camera is just, I guess, being problematic today and doesn't want me to film this video. But anyway, I'm going to get into the ways to make money as a teen. My first way is to start an Etsy shop. Etsy has a really large audience of people from all age groups. And Etsy, if you don't know, is a website where you can become like a vendor or have like an Etsy shop. And that is where you can just like sell anything pretty much. So if you want to sell things that you make. Etsy is a really good outlet to do that, especially if you're like good at art or something, you can sell it on Etsy. A lot of people make, like I said, art on Etsy and sell it. You could also make jewelry, keychains, lip gloss. There's so many things that you can make on Etsy and a lot of people will buy it. So if you were good at making stuff and you want to sell it, selling it on Etsy would be a really good way to reach a large audience. My second way that you can make money is an online closet shop. There are many different ways Ways you can do this but sell stuff online that you have in your closet that doesn't fit you anymore or clothes that you bought and don't really like how they look or you just grown out of you can sell them to other people because some people may want to buy that stuff and that can actually make you really good money so ways you can do this are number one on Instagram I know a lot of people make like closet pages for example if I was selling some of my clothes I could make a little Instagram account it's called like Lacey's closet and I could just sell my clothes another way is Poshmark, Depop. There's a lot of different apps like that where you can sell your own clothes and accessories for money. Especially if you have some higher end product. If you sell it, people are more willing to pay higher money for higher end products, obviously. So that can make you really good money if you have like more expensive stuff that you want to sell. My third way that you can make money is to sell baked goods. I actually used to do this at my school. I made edible cookie dough and sold it to kids. I also made like cookies and stuff. I have a lot of different businesses, but making baked goods is a really good way to make money because almost everyone likes baked goods and you can sell it to like people in your neighborhood or people at your school, kind of whatever you want to do. I do want to say one thing, if you are selling it at your school, make sure your school is okay with it because Corona is obviously still happening. So just make sure that you are not breaking any rules when you were doing this one, but selling baked goods is a really good idea. Just make sure you have permission. My fourth thing you can do is you can do people's chores slash like housework and this really goes with a lot of opportunities. There are many things that you have to do to have a house or an apartment or whatever but a lot of people just don't like doing them so if you do them for other people you can charge the other people a price to do these and you can honestly make a lot of money. A lot of these chores you can do are mowing other people's lawns, dog walking, grocery shopping for other people and like bringing them their groceries like a grocery delivery. You can can like do people's dishes especially if they're like older people they may not want to do some of these things there's a lot of household things that you can do that other people really don't want to do but need to get done they will pay you to do this stuff for them my fifth way to make money is really for people who are more creative and like to use the creative side of their mind and this is to customize clothing this can get you a lot of money because if you buy something and then customize it you can sell it for a higher price than what you bought it for because you're a customer 
buy as a gift. See these a lot again on Etsy, Instagram pages, or you can make like your own website. Some of the stuff you customize are like shoes. You can customize like pants, like the painted pants trend is really in right now. I've seen a girl on TikTok and she customizes jean jackets and those are super cute. You sell for a high enough price to make a profit. This will really help you get a lot of money. My sixth tip is for anyone who has a camera or like photo and stuff and this is to do photo shoots for other people. I definitely don't recommend you do photo shoots for other people if you only have like your phone. If you have a real camera, I recommend doing this but anybody can take a photo on phone. So if you only have a phone, you don't really have a camera or like photography equipment, I don't recommend doing this because you're not really gonna make much money and if people do ask for your services, they're not gonna be as satisfied. But photography is something that a lot of people charge a lot of money for. So if you charge just a little bit of a discounted price, you can still make a really good amount of money doing this, especially around this time of year. There is prom coming up, senior photos. There's a lot of opportunities to take pictures. You can also take pictures like headshots for other people, people's birthday, graduation. But this is a really good time to start getting your name out there for photography opportunities and you can make a lot of money with that. Number seven is kind of a broad concept, but one way to make money is that you can teach people that are younger than you something that is valuable or resourceful. This can go in many different directions depending upon what you are good at and what your specialties are. But you can do like sports lessons with kids, you can tutor kids, you can teach them pretty much anything you're good at, drawing, dance, whatever you're good at. Parents want their kids to be the best that they can be. And so if the kid needs more help in one area, they will pay you to help them get to that point. You can make a lot of good money on this, especially because like private lessons for like sports can get really expensive. So if you, again, just do a little discounted of a price, you can make a really good amount of money on this. My eighth thing that you can do is to be a mommy's helper. Moms are always stressed and there are certain jobs that moms want to do, but if they have younger kids, it could be pretty hard to get these tasks done uninterrupted. So what you can do is help moms out. So you can do their household to-dos with them. You can help the kids with their homework. You can drive them to their sports practices if they need. Just whatever the mom needs you to do, you can kind of help a mom out like a nanny type situation you can help the mom out so that she's not as stressed so that she can do what she needs to do uninterrupted it will kind of differ depending upon who you're helping and what they need you to do and you do kind of need to be pretty responsible for this one because obviously you're dealing with other people's children you can get paid really good for this you can charge by the hour by the day by the week whatever you want but this could make you really good money the ninth thing that you can do is do cosmetology for other people now cosmetology expands into many different things but number one if you were good at makeup this could really get you a lot of money because obviously somebody could go to Sephora or Ulta and get their makeup done or you could just do their makeup for them and it'll be a little bit cheaper but you could still be making a lot of money if you get enough clients if you were good at makeup you could do makeup for weddings prom any special occasion really where someone wants their makeup done they could come to you at your house or you could go to them and do their makeup another thing in the cosmetology realm that you could do is do hair for people especially if you know how to braid because by getting your hair braided it can be really expensive getting your hair done in general can be expensive so if you know how to do hair this could get you a lot of good money again you can go to them or they can come to you but this can make you a lot of good money and my last thing that you can do to make money is obviously my favorite one and that is to start a YouTube channel I cannot say this enough do not do this if you are only looking for the money. YouTube is one of those things where it's super time consuming and if you're only doing it for the money you are not going to last. But if you really do enjoy like film and editing and entertainment I really recommend doing this and like I said don't do it if you're only in it for the money because before you start making money on YouTube you have to have 4,000 watch hours and 1,000 subscribers and that is a lot to be doing if you don't really love what comes with YouTube. Another plus to it is that you can make pretty good money on it. Just make sure if you do this that you really like it because you will be miserable if you don't but it is a pretty good tool to make money on so that is it for this video if you liked this video make sure to like comment and subscribe for more of my videos if you watched all the way till this point of the video comment down below the cash emoji because we're gonna be making money this summer with these tips i love you guys so much and i will see y'all in my next video bye she's a mona lisa